he's brutal. Kim Kardashian finally reveals her true opinion about Kanye West. American rapper Kanye West issued an apology to his wife, Kim Kardashian, on Twitter, the same social media platform where he announced plans to divorce her just days before. Welcome back to our channel today. Today we are going to discuss He's Brutal, Kim Kardashian finally reveals her true opinions about Kanye West. So here we go. In 2012, Kardashian began dating rapper Kanye West, and their daughter North Nori West was born the following year. In May 2014, Kardashian and West were married. The pair had a second child, son St. West, in 2015. Their daughters Chicago West and son Psalm West were born in 2018 and 2019, respectively, via a surrogate. In 2021, it was announced that Kim and Kanye were divorcing. There's a theory that Kim knew the marriage was in trouble in 2018, and it's telling that the show in the last few seasons documents their fights, threading the narrative that Kim is sick of her antics. You have to imagine, this season, that producers were prepared for a storyline about a restored marriage or one that's centered on a divorce. In March of 2020, the rapper announced that he was going to run for presidency and immediately began campaigning when Kanye hosted a rally in South Carolina, announcing his short-lived bid for president. It was clear which way the story was going to break. At this relationship-shattering event, he made comments about the couple's nearly aborting North, then unleashed a series of tweets against his family, alleging that Kim and Chris were trying to lock him up and calling Chris a white supremacist. Kim released a statement on our Instagram, this time not defending Kanye, just begging for compassion for his mental health struggles. Later photos were released on TMZ of Kim in Wyoming, crying during a fight when Kanye is in his car. So far, Kim isn't saying much on camera, but one episode shows her attempting to fly to Wyoming to reconcile and Kanye refusing to see her. She filed a divorce in February, a month after the show wrapped. Three days after the announcement, Kim Ever Relatable released on Instagram story of her driving, singing along to Olivia Rodrigo's driver's license, aka Gen Z's Nothing Compares to You. Post breakup, Kim's Instagram has been freer, funnier, nostalgic, and thirst trappy again. She is working on her degree and is most likely plotting how best to document her post divorce life as an activist, a billionaire, a mother, and a lawyer. At this point, at the end of this epic relationship, he could have feasibly imagined a Kim presidential run than a Kanye one. Major political issues, the rapper also addressed the topic of abortion and revealed to the public that he and Kim considered aborting their first daughter, Northwest. However, that was not where he ended the discussion. After being escorted off the stage, Kanye went on to his social media platforms to continue his rampage. He posted questionable tweets that raised the eyebrows of many followers. From calling his wife a cheater to labeling his mother-in-law a white supremacist, Kanye made sure to come confidently tarnish after writing so many unnecessary things about his personal life on social media, West wrote. I would like to apologize to my wife, Kim, for going public with something that was private matter. I did not cover her like she has covered for me. To Kim, I want to say I know I hurt you. Please forgive me. Thank you for always being there for me. However, this is not an individual case where the father of four has gone into against his wife in public. According to another inside source, Kris Jenner has been very anxious and worried when it comes to Kanye's outbursts and how his actions reflect on the Kardashian family. When asked about how Chris felt about the Kanye Kim divorce, here's what the inside source had to say about Chris's stand on all of Chris. Thinks Kanye is out of control and bad for the family brand. She can't bear seeing how unhappy Kim is. Kim didn't make the decision alone. Chris has been tugging on her daughter's heartstrings to persuade her to do the right thing, which is kick Kanye to the curb. He had outlived his usefulness and it's time that he was cut loose. But that was not all for the close friends of the Kardashians. Had to reveal because as one insider has stated, Kim and Chris are waiting for the last season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians to air so Kim can finally sign the divorce papers. Finale of their show, he understands Kim's has to spin that she's sick of him. In reality, he's been sick of being involved with the Kardashians for a long time. Kardashian ultimately broke her silence on the drama with a public statement acknowledging Wes's bipolar disorder. Kardashian's statement shared to Instagram begins, As many of you know, Kanye has bipolar disorder. Anyone who has this or has loved one in their life who does know how incredibly complicated and painful it is to understand. Kardashian said she realizes that her husband's words can carry particular weight and cause strong opinions and emotions due to his status as a public figure. However, she says she finds him to be brilliant and complicated, a person that is simply struggling to deal with his mental illness at times. She loves Kanye very much and he doesn't realize how much pain he is causing her. She feels powerless and she hates it. Here we come to the end of our video. We just wish the well-being to both the stars in the future life. Let us know your comment box down below what you think is best for Kim and Kanye. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and share with your friends. Until then, goodbye.